God bless. Greetings, my brothers and sisters in Christ. We're going to um, share with you today. I have no idea what Father's going to say. He's been sharing a lot of different things with me, and um, he's been talking to me about those of us that have been in caves and dens, uh, out of the public eye, so to speak, and he's bringing us forth. In this video, I believe what he may be going to do is what he did in the last video, only quite different. In the first video, in the last video that I had done, uh, he manifested his love and you were able to see the human side of him. Um, God has many personalities and he uh, is a man of great character and magnificence. He's really much too difficult for me to describe. But there's so many things that he wants to say to his children, especially in these times, in these last days. And he wants to talk with you. And for some reason, he's chosen me to be the vessel, so <laughs> anyway. Um, <clears throat> with the manifestation of the Holy Spirit, in a person. In order for the Holy Spirit to manifest, and that person has to have surrendered their body, soul, and spirit to the Lord Jesus Christ and to the use of His Spirit within them. The church hasn't really taught us about this. They've talked to us about walking with God, but they have not talked to us about God being in us and us in Him. You know, Colossians chapter 2 speaks of the full Godhead, verses 9 and 10, being in us. <laughs> the full Godhead. <laughs> and um, many times um, since I have totally surrendered myself to the Lord, He has manifested Himself. And sometimes it scared me <laughs> because He is very strong. He's a warrior. <laughs> He's a king. He's a man of war. And growing up, the church had portrayed him to me as a loving God, which he is a God of love. <laughs> but he's also holy and he's just. And as many of you have seen through the, through the media and through your own eyes, this world is, is deplorable. It's in terrible 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 condition and God being just cannot allow it to go on as it has and you know in Joel chapter 2 where it speaks of God restoring unto us the years that the locusts have eaten there's been many many years that that the locusts or the enemy <laughs> has stolen from us He's taken our families and some of us. He's taken our health. He's taken so much. And that wasn't the will for the Father's will for us. <laughs> In the garden, He had given us <laughs> paradise. <laughs> the man chose his own will and his own way over the ways and the will of the Father. And we know what has happened since. The world is, uh, has become like Sodom and Gomorrah. And as in the days of Noah, and great destruction has come upon the earth. God has poured out his judgment. Those that have seen the tornadoes and the destruction that has taken place in, in the Midwest and many parts of the world also. Or have seen the earthquakes that we had in Japan and all over the world every day. We understand that God is pouring out. We know by the death of the animals, the death of the fish, and the, the dolphins, the cows, the birds, that the, the whole earth is moaning, the whole earth is grieving and groaning. And the time has come for the sons of God to be revealed. The only way you can see a true child of God is when the Holy Spirit manifests through that child. <laughs> The Holy Spirit chose to manifest yesterday. 
He's always in us. He never leaves us. But when the outpouring <laughs> took place in the day of Pentecost, <laughs> when there was a mighty rushing wind and the Holy Spirit came forth, <laughs> the Holy Spirit <laughs> fell, fell upon the sons and daughters of God. <laughs> And flames <laughs> manifested over their heads. <laughs> and they spoke in various tongues and many languages. And I understand that the church today, many churches teach that the tongues is not for today, prophecy is not for today. And, you know, it's all in the New Testament. It's all in the book of Acts. And, and it's uh, kind of amazing that they can disregard the New Testament, especially since they mostly teach out of the New Testament. Um, I think that's because God has manifested so much in the Old Testament, <laughs> especially in Job where he describes himself in chapters 38 through, I think, through 40. Anyway, today I believe he wants to show you another side of him. <sighs> As he prepares us for battle. Yes, as he prepares us for war. You know, a king, God is king. And when a king is also the commander and chief of host of armies, <laughs> he needs next to him, beside him, a bride that is worthy to stand next to a king. <laughs> a bride that fears no one and fears nothing. A bride that has been trained for war. A bride <laughs> that has been trained for battle. I'm going to share a little bit with you. A little bit more. <laughs> One morning, Father said to me, Cheryl, <laughs> Satan is not your enemy. You are his. For I reign in you. I have filled you with myself. I have filled you. I have filled you. The full Godhead reigns inside of you. The church has milk. Has milk for my children. They're spoon feeding them. This is not of me. This is to keep you weak. This is to keep you as babies. But I have been raising up warriors. They've been in hiding. and They've been in the caves. They've been hiding for the day that I shall bring them forth. They've been hiding for the day that I shall reveal my sons and daughters. The whole world is waiting for the revelation. The whole world is waiting for the manifestation of my children. And I shall bring them forth. For they are my sons and daughters. And I am bringing them forth for such a time as this. And you shall see the manifestation of myself through my children. For they are mine and they have been called by my name. And no weapon formed against them shall or will prevail. Satan is not your enemy, but you are his. And you will teach my children... You will teach my children to go forth. You will teach my children who they are in me. For they are mine and they are called by my name. And I will manifest myself through my sons and daughters. For they are my sons and they are my daughters. And they have been called for such a time as this. And they will see and they will know who their God is. For they have not known me. They have known of me. They have known what others have told them of me. But they have not known who I am. For they have not sat at my feet. They have not sat at my feet. They have not beheld my face. Well, now I have taken them into a place, a place where they must stand, for I am bringing them forth out of the trenches that they have been in. They have been hidden in secret places, but I am raising them up, and I am bringing them out, and they are coming forth, for they are my sons, and they are my daughters, and they are my warriors, and they have been called forth for such a time as this. 
and you will know and you will see what I will do for it is time I am calling you forth I am calling you forth assemble the warriors assemble the warriors to battle for you will flourish the threshing floor for I have come forth and I walk among my children and I am that 